the Premier League has announced 42 new coronavirus infections in its latest round of testing, the most ever recorded over a seven-day period. All have confirmed cases of the illness, with the United's fixture with Brentford not expected to go ahead on Tuesday. In the Premier League's latest round of testing, 3,805 players and club staff were checked and 42 new positive cases were discovered. It is the highest amount recorded in a single week since weekly testing figures were first announced in May 2020. If vaccination rates were higher, players could continue to play and train even if they came into close contact with the virus victim. But the low number of players who have taken the jab could now lead to a major crisis for the English game. The Premier League confirmed in October that 68% of its players are fully vaccinated against the virus, which was some way short of the vaccine rate among players in Germany's Bundesliga, which is 94%, and the Italian Serie A, which is reported to be 98%. So why are Premier League players hesitant to get vaccinated? Well, reports from last month suggest that players were sharing misinformation about the vaccine on WhatsApp. Some players have opted out of vaccination because of their consumption of conspiracy theories online, particularly on social media. However, some people choose not to be vaccinated, citing a number of factors, including their lack of confidence in the vaccine, concerns about side effects, or a fear of needles. The misinformation has become a complicated matter and there are also some challenging issues to address when there is clearly a level of concern among many professional footballers that the COVID-19 vaccinations might be linked to what, on the face of it, seems like an increase in heart issues. The world of football has seen Sergio Aguero's incident against Alaves a month ago. The 33-year-old was taken to hospital and he had cardiac treatment and sources in Spain suggest that Manchester City's all-time leading scorer has been advised to retire. Many players have seemingly linked this incident to the COVID vaccine. Professor Sanjay Sharma, one of the world's leading cardiologists, has discussed this issue and he said, A lot of players are refusing to be vaccinated. They are worried that this vaccine is causing trouble and they don't want to run into trouble. We have some very, very eminent players in the Premier League who are point blank refusing the vaccine. Sharma has multiple positions in some of the UK's largest athletic organisations, which comes with a certain amount of responsibility. He chooses his words sensibly. Sharma further said, For me to say the vaccine could be implicated would be the most irresponsible thing in the world. All that happens then is that the biggest star would say, I don't want this vaccine. These are role models for thousands and thousands and thousands of young people. A Premier League player who wishes to remain anonymous has also talked about vaccine scepticism. He said, A lot of players don't want to take the vaccines and that won't change. We are young, healthy and don't feel it's something we need to do. We take care of what we put into our bodies and at the moment, these vaccines are not something some of us want to take. Wolves are the only club from England's top flight domestic league to have met Prime Minister Boris Johnson's target of boosting all over 18s. Leeds and Brentford are making significant process in meeting Johnson's objective and both clubs are well advanced in their respective booster campaigns. Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola has urged all his players and staff to get their COVID-19 booster vaccination as soon as they become eligible. He said, Absolutely. The doctors suggest that they have to do it. Most of us have done it already. The players for their age, the moment they have to do it. Everybody is going to decide and they are going to do it. Meanwhile, Aston Villa manager Steven Gerrard said that the club could discuss the vaccine status of potential signings when it looks to bolster its squad during the January transfer window. However, the Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunisation remains firm on a three-month wait between a second and third vaccine dose. It is claimed that almost a third of players would have to wait until at least the end of January to receive their booster vaccine. It appears to be a waiting game for players and clubs in the Premier League. It is claimed that the Premier League are confident that they can continue with their schedule with rigorous testing measures and emergency protocols in place. But the clubs are doubtful about playing games with significant absences. It seems that a decision will have to be made sooner rather than later. If you enjoyed this video then smash the like button. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.